Australia is directly affected by the impact of fossil fuels on our climate. Our climate is supercharged and we are heading for extinction as a species. We feel it through bushfires. Our fire seasons are becoming longer. They start earlier and they're more intense. We're experiencing more heat waves. It's already 40 degrees in November here. And really we're gonna see that climate change. The Black Saturday fires, as they were called here, they were the hottest recorded fires in human history of recording fires. And um, they, they burnt a lot of our sacred mountains to the north, which are our boundaries with our neighbours, the Tunnarong people. And um, some of those forests will never recover. They just burnt too hot. And in a place like Australia, less and less of the continent is going to be habitable, which is obviously a problem with a rising population in the world. This is about the edge of the sand dunes about 10 years ago. And for two kilometres, all of the sand has eroded away. So here on the Inverloch beach, we've got this older sand containment wall here, which was put in a few years before this rock wall that you can see. This rock wall was built to protect the road. These rocks were brought in from the other side of Melbourne and placed here, and it's all part of the erosion that's been occurring. I think we all know that climate action is happening too slow. It's not consistent with the science, and we can see the impacts that are already apparent. And Shell, as one of the large fossil fuel producers in the country, is deeply complicit in that. As you can see, the vegetation is dying. It can't tolerate the salt water. It's only the rock here at the road and the sandbags at the surf club that provide protection. The rest of the area, as far as we can see where the dead plants are, that also needs protection. I became a volunteer firefighter because I could see the impacts of climate change. I could see forests that I knew that might be burnt once every 20 years, being burnt every 10 years and then every five years. The fire seasons will only get worse. So we've got to do the adaptation, which is fight the fires, but we've also got to do the mitigation, which is reduce our contribution to further global warming. And it's going to cause food insecurity. Um, it's going to cause people losing their home to natural disasters. So imagine if you were a person whose house is burnt down, you rebuild and then your house is washed away by a flood the following year. This is dramatic. We are already a land which is fragile. Everything can be gone in a moment and if we don't work hard immediately right now to take action, everything will be gone.